All right, so today we are flying from Punta Cana International Airport uh, with the Akeo code uh, MDPC and uh, we are going to be arriving in San Juan International Airport. Well, it's called Luis Marie Muñoz International Airport in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Uh, and as always, I like to do my uh, cold start. Uh, first of all, we need to do a safety checklist. We're gonna get the aviation flashlight on so that we can check everything. And we're gonna do our safety checklist, which, uh, let's see, parking brake is set, throttle is set to idle. Fuel controls are off, gear lever uh, is down, flaps are up, speed brakes are retracted, trims need to be to zero. Uh, I'm gonna see on that screen, <laughs> but we cannot see it because uh, the, the, the light is actually red, so. All right. Uh, payload set, fuel set. All right, so we're gonna do the power up. First, we're gonna do the power up, and then we're gonna do the playlist and uh, the checklist. I said playlist. Oh, and I forgot I was going to put just like some background music. All right, so. Parking brake is on, we already checked that. Battery master. Let's turn on the battery master. We have battery master on. Standby power auto. External power. There we go, we have power, nice. Let's start the APU though. Let's wait for the APU generator to become available and then we can continue. There we go, I can hear it. All right, so we have APU generator. Uh, let's turn on the bus ties, auto, generator controls on. Hydraulic pump demands, all to off. Hydraulic pump engines, all on. Left and right utility, left and right utility. Yo dampers. So, your dampers on, pack selectors norm, pack selectors norm, pack insulation valves, uh, where are those, right here, APU bleed on, engine bleeds, all on, APU generator on, and I guess we turn off the external power now. So now we can continue with our power up checklist, all right? So, emergency lights that is not simulated, flight deck lights, are we good on the lighting? Yeah, we're gonna get a little bit of the dome lights just for this. And then we need to turn them off a little bit. So flight decks, all right, check. IP, APU, we already started that, APU is on, external generation generator is available, all the bus ties are on, and the external generator is on. All right, generator controls are on, hydraulic pumps. All right, so we're gonna continue we're gonna be asking for clearance here. Uh, well, we don't need to ask for clearance. I think uh, we are going to. We're gonna be using bad sim today. Uh, we need to switch this to N because we are flying in North America. 
uh, or I guess in America and not in Europe. In Europe, the call sign starts with E. So we're gonna be November 133 Sierra. Uh, all right. So let's connect. Let's check uh, who's online. Why did I set that? There we go. So nobody's online in here. Oh. Oh, we have San Juan Center. Yeah, that's where we are going. MIA, MIA Center. Now that poses the question, do we need to contact any of those? Let's check our um how's it car how's it called? I can't remember the name right now, but the the section on chart, that's right. So yeah, so the Miami controller we we do not have to we do not have to contact Miami controller and I was checking in Simaware. I don't know in, in real life if that's how it works but uh, there's an Arab space that encompasses the whole Dominican Republic island so we're gonna have to contact San Juan control right after takeoff all right, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, looks. Huh, there was a, an approach controller in the window of line. That's sad. All right, uh, all right. We're good though. Uh, we're gonna set this to 122.8, which is Unicom. And then we're gonna just uh, monitor that and say our intentions over there. So, um, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, and we don't have to ask for clearance, but we're gonna signal our intent. Whoops, excuse me. We're gonna signal intention that we're gonna uh, taxi back. Uh, November 133, Sulu Sierra taxiing back from gate P8. All right, so. Well, I shouldn't have said taxiing back. I should have said uh, uh, doing pushback. So we're gonna wait for pushback and then we're gonna continue to turn on the engines and with our power up. I think, actually, okay, let me, let me do this. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna cancel the pushback and I actually, I'm gonna check on the checklist because I, I'm, also, I'm supposed to... Yeah, see? So before we start up, we need to, we need to do all our settings. Yeah. So we already went through this. Yeah, so the hydraulic pumps. Well, we're gonna deal with that later. Or no, okay. Let's, let's keep this, let's uh, keep the order for this. So, fuel pumps. On, engine, uh, crossfeed. On, or fuel crossfeeds, I guess. 
and then there we go so hydraulic pump demands auto auto and then I still don't know how to do that but we need to check the IRS I'm gonna write this down and I'm gonna look it up later because I'm confused about this and I'm gonna take some time to also uh, to also uh, organize this checklist too so for now we're gonna keep skip this uh, we should check the A this here let's do that 132825 So let's check the 80s Apparently that's not the 80s Let's see if the if this provides any information, no information for the for the eighties. Well guess what? I guess we don't have any eighties here. But I already checked the weathers and I don't have to report to the ground controller or anything, so we're good. Uh, Alright, so uh -huh. So we already got the hydraulic pump demands to auto. This one needs to be to aux. And then all the pack selectors need to be off. Uh, 80s and altimeter, whatever. So com radius, we're gonna say we're gonna say that that is set. See, let me check something. I need to toggle toggle tablet. Where is that? There we go. So it's gonna push this nice but what <laughs> why why did it do that that is weird okay what if I so if I have this open it will kind of like oh no okay that's good so Oops, we went uh, way too far, I guess. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh my god, I'm going... Okay, let's just take me home. Charts. Charts.
This just blew up on my face. One click. That's what what that's what's uh, messing me up. So let's try to go one nothing here. Let's go home. Uh Mario Oh there we go, that's what I'm missing. What happens if we go to Steam? Nope. Uh, oh, there we go. Explain directories. Uh, resources. Oh my god. Plugins, Habitat, Charts, there we go. Like uh, Exit Media, I don't know what that is. If I hit that, it's gonna close the whole thing. Yeah. Let's let's turn off this flashlight. I need to get used to this app. It's a it's a really nice app, but you know it's underdeveloped. But hey, it's free, you know, no complaints. So we are over here. We're gonna go B. Oh no, that's the wrong way. We're gonna go R, R2, R1, all the way in E, all the way in E until we reach runway 08. And do we have, this doesn't give the frequency. Here. So the frequency that I have for the 80s here is it's not it doesn't give anything. Whatever. All right. So Oh, that's what I was going to do. So we're gonna go to T here and we're gonna uh, set the localizer which is 110.3 one, one, there we go and uh, the course is 078 Zero seven eight. Um, in here, the the VOR left. We're gonna program it to 
114.0 It's probably gonna be able to reach it because of how close we are, maybe Nope, alright And... So we're gonna be in the radial 004 There we go. To DD. And then we're gonna go to the SGU 15 DME and then hold hold there. And we're gonna be climbing to 2000. So that's it. Uh, we're gonna set the back of BOR to the same frequency too, because we don't need. Uh, we, don't need we don't need another one. This is this is where we are holding. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Tell alternative alternate missed approach fix. That's Patty. So it says three thirty. Is that an ADF or something? Well, I don't know. Let's set it to. I don't know what that is because it's like in a. I, to be honest, don't know that frequency. 330 SJ. I guess we can check it later. And with a course off. Whoops. So we're going to track it with a heading of. 081 I uh, I learned about this today a little bit and I want to practice it uh, but I'm, I'm totally not sure if this if that's like an ADF the only thing I know is that these frequencies don't go to 330 or whatever these ones do so I'm just gonna set it here and maybe once we get there we see if it's if it's a, a beacon it's a non-directional it's a it's called non-directional beacon i think ndb uh, anyways i don't know how to get there though how to get to patty or to sj oh here oh there we go so this is the one that we're actually tracking and I guess we can use this one for as a backup but it doesn't give me a radial to like reach this point over here uh, I don't know I'll have to study that later we're gonna catch a localizer at 50,000 1600 sorry 1600 feet uh, at the paddy uh, fix all right and our FAF is uh, one cent and we're gonna be descending yeah we're just gonna the glide slope is uh, with three Three degrees and TCH seventy. All right, I think that's gonna be good for the nav. So now we're gonna be going to here, and we're gonna say M D Mike Delta Papa Charlie. And then 
Tango, Juliet, Sierra, Juliet. Tango, Juliet, Sierra, Juliet. All right. Uh, flight 112, whatever. What happened there? Something happened. And we're gonna go via, let's see. Uh, I need to remember not to double click. Maya. Okay, so Mike, Echo, Lima Lima Alpha. That's good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we're going to select uh, the uh, departing. Uh, departure, sorry. We're going to be departing to, from runway 08. And we're going to be using Maya. Let's check what else is there. Maya. Execute that. And then we're going to select our arrival. We're going to be arriving runway 08 with an ILS. Via Barna. And with the Yoshi. Let's do this. ILS Yoshi. This thing is. It, it's always so weird. Barna. Execute. Let's check our legs. We have Texas PC103, PC104, Meja. And then we go direct to Yoshi. Yayup. And Barna. So we go Maya, direct to Yoshe, Yayup, Barna. And then after Bar a Barna, we have. Oh, I, I actually like the usability on this thing. As at first, it, it's. Like you have to get used to not double clicking, but after that, it's like really, really useful, really seamless. So, uh, Wesson, that's actually our our final approach approach fix. And Joril, Patty, at that point we need to have our localizer capture. Uh, there's also Johnny, but it's not here. That's we are actually just after Patty. We are actually uh, landing. So and then we're gonna be holding a DD. That's whoops. Excuse me. We're gonna be held holding a DD. And yep. We're gonna be holding a DD with an altitude of 3000. We actually. Let's put the speed over here 3000. I really like, I really enjoy this after I, I learn how to do it. 3000. Oops. Not 30,000, 3000. Good. We're not gonna mess with that. This, if we miss the approach, we go to 2000. We're gonna leave this one empty. All right. In here, we need to be doing 160. 1541, is that, is that the speed over here? Oh yeah, 
yeah, it's like a, a little bit lower. Oh. So 160 and 1541. 1541. Need to be careful with that because I don't want to mess that up. Whoops. And I did mess that up. That was 160. 15, 4, 1. There we go. Ajorial, we're gonna be going 162. At Wesson. Can be doing 180 or no? Let's let's just uh, or no? I think I think that's a good that's a good that's a good speed. There we go. Uh, are there any restrictions of altitude at Varna? It says 4600 so let's just uh, enter that and we're gonna put at this point we're gonna be doing 220 or no we're gonna be doing 200 at that point because it's like really close to the approach like that's when we're already that's the final point in the approach basically let's see right here and 4600 not thousand hundred Varna there we go yeah Yup is right here it's only six miles away 200 and we can be a 57. Yoshi it's at that point we're gonna be slowing down 7,000 a good uh, this is direct we already confirmed that at Maya we don't really have any restrictions but we're gonna set up uh, nope that's not what I wanted this work yeah nice all right but I guess we can be at uh, we can we can we can be our, our altitude there so we were good okay there we go then do we have any restrictions for speed on the takeoff? Uh, 0 0 0.0086 then we go this way and we go this way let's see the next page 
Major 2W Climb to 286 to Texas Blah 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 500 to 5000 to 5000 to 5000 to Maya So yeah that's what we have So Climb speed We're gonna be doing 180 under 5000 and our transition altitude is going to be 5000 our cruise is going to be 13000 feet our descent again we're gonna make it uh, seven thousand. So I think that's good. All right. So our FMS is set. Good. So we have nav radius. Yeah, good. Uh, transponder code. 4700 we don't have ATC so whatever FMC is set source selector looking good mod control panel we're gonna be oh I didn't I didn't write down the runway heading Oh yeah, because I I didn't find it. <laughs> but in here it says zero eight six, so that's what we're gonna use in here. All right, and our initial altitude is gonna be five thousand. So we're gonna set it set this to that. There we go. Uh, just gonna arm our flight directors and auto thruster, and we're gonna say our mod control panel is set. Anti ice. We don't need that. We're in the Caribbean. Ha ha ha. Yo dampers are on. Yep, I turned them on before. And then no smoking sign, nobody. I I like I pray that I will find a passenger smoking on their cell plane one day. Cause him and me are gonna have it. Alright, so we need the uh, nav lights. And what else? The beacon light needs to be in both. There we go. And let's ask for pushback. Let's set this up to the aerodrome. Uh, right now, we are right here facing this building. So we're right now we're Let's ask that they send us uh, let's see. Not that way actually. This way. Yeah. Let's cheat a little bit. Ah, let's see.
So thank you. Let's uh that's good enough, thank you. And let's set the parking brake. There we go. Now uh oh we should have done we should have been doing the startup well we were being pushed back so fuel pumps are on fuel leg speeds are on cross feeds i guess pump demands all to auto and the last one to ox pack selectors need to be off pack selectors are off become both and let's start the engines so number four first Okay, and then number one. I'm gonna start like turn them and turning them on together to save a little bit of time. Let's just start number three. And number one is ready to go. And number two is ready to go. And number three is ready to go. So fuel pumps, uh, fuel controls are set to run. Uh, engine four, then five. All right, so we need to turn off the APU bleed and we need to turn off the APU itself. There we go. Pack selectors need to be norm, norm, norm. And then hydraulic pump demands all to auto nice and that's it external generation generator is off APU is off anti-ice is as required so we're gonna start the uh, we're gonna start taxing so we're gonna make a call and then we're gonna go from there so uh, let's see So we're going to be taxing actually DE. Uh, November 133 Sulu Sierra taxiing onto runway uh, 08 uh, via Delta Echo. So. Yeah, let's start taxiing and then we do this, this. We need to turn this taxi lights on. There we go. So that's Delta over there. So this way. Taxi confuses me a lot. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, taxi confuses me. So there is taxiway E1. Excuse me. Oh I see. From D, we go directly onto E, so we don't need to do anything really. Okay, that makes sense. And if there's someone like watching this, I am really sorry, but I have to take my time while learning. And I am learning, that's basically what I'm doing. So, 
let's start uh, our taxi we need to release parking brake and then we need to follow this small line over here we're, we're gonna start configuring now so flaps configured altimeter is set to standard we're just gonna leave it there we don't know what the altimeter setting is in here uh, flight controls we're gonna check them in a little bit now controls there we go so ailerons looking good I don't know why that makes the speed brake deploy or oh, whatever elevator looking good this looking good all good flight controls are good transponder we need to set it to TRA taxi lights are on right they're on yeah on strobe lights on and start the timer for this flight all right we're good to go and then we have our before takeoff checklist So this is D. This is E. We just continue straight to E. So we are on E. Echo 133 Sulu Sierra taxi and via E towards runway 08. So we are on the Unicom frequency. Whoa, 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 what did I do? Approaching zero nine. Hmm. 
Are we sure we are in the Unicom? We are in the Unicom. So there's nobody here, it's just me. So I'm just gonna go. Oh, we're ballast. And I, you know, I just end up blocking the high, the, the wrong one because, yes. Hey amigo. Hola. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, come on up and give me a call, and I'll, I'll open the door for you. Okay. So you said in in about one hour. Yeah, one hour. All right, I'll be expecting you. All right, see you later, amigo. All right, got that taken care of. It's, uh, you know, real life stuff, real life stuff. Gotta, gotta take care of that sometimes. Unfortunately. It's uh, it's like uh, Elon Musk say, you know, it's uh, it's all a simulation. So if you live in a different type of simulation, you know, the real simulation, just like sucks to to do or whatever. Entering runway zero eight for takeoff approaching zero eight so we're gonna line up here and we need to do this checklist like really quick landing lights all on turn off the taxi lights and the flight director and the auto thruster all is on I have to remember to turn off the you know throttle down so let's go Kind of overdid the engines a little bit there. Wind is crazy over here. And V1, rotate. All right, we have a positive right of claim. Uh, throttle down. And we're just gonna turn on the autopilot. That's it.
This is not safe. Oh, it was reaching the altitude. Okay, let's see. The airplane was a little bit uh, uh, out of control there. Uh, we need to get the flaps all the way up. So after landing checklist, gear lever is up, autopilot is engaged, the flaps are up, LNAV is on, VNAV is on, landing lights are off, and altimeter is 2992 after 10,000. We're just gonna keep, keep it there for a little bit. Once we reach 10,000, then we, we do that. So that's basically our route today. See, we're gonna be going to Maya, and then from Maya, we're gonna be going all the way to Yoshi, and then Yoshi takes us kind of almost like directly to the runway. We're gonna. Oh, we need we need some flaps. Or what we can do is no, we need some flaps. Or we're gonna stall. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, no, no, no. So once once it reached 5,000, oh, it's because we're in Maya. Oh, nice. That's nice. No, this thing is like. some flaps and more flaps are gonna be in flap stand what This thing is crazy. Oh my god. So let's do 180 so that it let's let's take it from its predicament at 4000. Let's see how that works. There we go. Now we can get rid of all the flaps. Okay. Well, one learns something every day. Well, are those some clouds? Can't see anything. Which would be, you know, the real thing. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to mention uh, everything that I'm doing. Oh, and I need to contact control. Now the question is, is Maya So let's contact these people. One three five. 
forgot to do the what's the alternate airport God, I'm so bad at this. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna ban me from there. San Juan Control, November 133, Sulu Sierra, checking in, hello. Uh, I'm inbound to Yoshe with an altitude of 5,000 and a heading of 103. Uh, San Juan Control, how do you read?
San Juan Control, how do you read November 133 Sulu Sierra over here? San Juan Control, November 133, Sulu Sierra, checking in. Hello. November 133 Sulu Sierra checking in inbound to Joshe with a heading of 104 at 13,000 feet. Hello. Is that your call sign? November 133 Sulu Sierra. Hello. Sorry, can you repeat? Uh, can you repeat? Sorry. One three Sulu Sierra Squad T two from six twenty two sixteen and uh, more Charlie please. Uh, two two six six, uh, November one three three Sulu Sierra. 
We are in Puerto Rico. Look at this. We're in Tuy Solo Sierra Verde, contact one seven miles south of uh, Borinquen at uh, one three thousand WS. I want to know two nine nine three. Okay, we're gonna go three for the altimeter. And can you repeat the frequency again, please? Sorry. Uh, no frequency. I was just giving you. Uh, I was just worried to identify you. Uh, just cross Josh. I don't maintain seven thousand. I expect the ILS from a eight approach. Actually, expect the ILS from a one zero approach. I expect uh, one zero a runway one zero approach. November one three three Sulu Sierra. We're three Sulu Sierra cross Josh at I don't maintain seven thousand. Cross just uh, seven thousand. Runway ten, and let's see. Seven thousand, and that means. Let's see. If we go at a thousand a minute, we run out. Do it right now. We're doing twenty-five, uh, two hundred and fifteen knots. So so at 1000 a minute so at uh, if we if we got to bravo bravo tax at holding point alpha on my one zero a v on my one zero uh just hold shot on my one zero So right now, don't have anything to the west. Okay, so okay, so backtrack from my one zero. We'll get to. There's no traffic in the area, so you can just continue on the other one. to be okay so run 
can't wait 10 okay let's let's do this let's do this we can do this we can do this Uh, you coming in like three by five? Five Bravo Bravo Romain one zero cliff takeoff wind zero seven zero degrees one zero nine. Sulu Sierra, the Bar Josh heading 070. The Bar Josh heading 0, 070, November Sir, good evening, the course are uh, 21 Fox start with you for level 33 zero. Second call, sir. Course are 21 Fox. Three seven five four. Three seven five four four in the box uh, zero twenty one four. Sulu Sierra, let's maintain 4,000. Let's maintain 4,000, November 133 Sulu Sierra. So I don't want to fuck the is 3, 7, 5, 4, 37, 54. The 21 Fox Road, where can I take this over call to follow 330? Thank you. 
number five rebel bravo frequency change approved. So let's see, I turn uh, 10 degrees right. 10 degrees to the right. November 1 to 3, so Sierra. Four uh, Fox at uh, Isla Grande is actually close at this time. Uh, but if you do the river transition, just give me a call before you actually take off so I can give you a squad code. Uh, but for now, just uh, just uh, state your intentions and you're gonna come one to two point. Eight. Okay. Three, so let's see this time maintain three downs. Send maintain 3000 November Solus here, you're about uh, eight miles from the tanner. Fly present heading, maintain actually, the center maintain 2000 until established. Clear Alice from a one zero approach. The center maintain 2000 until established November 1 through 3 Solus here. The 2 1 Fox truck cross Vino, how to maintain 1 1000 altimeter 2993. Fox, you copy? Yes, sir. We know uh, the 11,000 costs are 21 Fox. See this baby line up, line up, line up, line up. We're gonna slow down a little bit more just for fun. This is a <laughs> beautiful view of San Juan, Puerto Rico and I used to practice here a lot and I wasn't able to make the landings and I'm kind of getting like nostalgic because I like I'm coming back and I think I don't know I feel pretty good 
uh, that I'm I, I think I'm gonna be able to make the landing so let's uh, see our checklists over two four five should I go on frequency cruising oh we're, we don't need to do that Landing one, lights. One, two, four, 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 at, uh, squawk. We never four, turned three, them off. Zero, v ref and approach frequency. <coughs> We're not gonna switch frequencies anyway, so that's good. Uh, all right, so there we go. We are on the glide slope. Uh, whoa. There we go. Speed brakes armed uh, and then our V-Ref is 160 so we need to be mindful of that uh, number 194 uh, control, I have a uh, visual with the runway, uh, November 133 Sulu Sierra. Uh, 133 Sulu Sierra, runway 130, clear land, wind 112 at 6. Clear to land, November 133 Sulu Sierra. For Fox, you contact 3 miles northwest of San Juan. Uh, just continue along the shoreline. Okay. Gear lever. We're at one thousand. <clears throat> Approaching one zero. Approaching one zero. Beautiful view of the airport. This might be my first uh, bat sim landing, so special one for sure. 400, we hear the call out. 300. Oh, this is so beautiful. 200, disengage autopilot and hand fly this baby. Flare up. Three hundred. Whoa. Five thousand feet remaining. Four thousand remaining. Okay, one hundred. Two thousand remaining. One thousand remaining. Not gonna lie to you, this made me really nervous. Five hundred remaining. One hundred remaining. And first bat sim landing, how about that? Huh? Two, four, five, so you can receive more navigation. For three solo Sierra uh, Are you parking? <laughs> uh, uh November three solo Sierra any any gate. Looks like it's actually to the cargo ramp, so... Uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> you go back to where you uh, got in there.
so flaps up. All right, uh, I'm in H, taxiway H right now. Number one through this, Super Sierra. Okay, well, where are you parking then? Do uh, you want to go into a passenger? Okay, so just taxi don't park in your Hotel Lima November. Hotel Lima November, uh, November 133, Sulu Sierra. So, speed brakes retracted, landing lights off. Uh, what else? Strap lights off. God damn it. Four seventeen seven center squad four one five five. Ninety four seventeen. This clock is four one five five forty one fifty five. All right, San Juan Control, thank you for your help. Uh, November 133, Sulu Sierra. Right. 9417, over to contact 98 miles northwest of Marine, Cross Bino, auto maintain 1000, I'll tell it to Uh, by the way, that was my first Vatsim landing, so I'm really happy. Goodbye. You did all right. All right. So we're going to turn this off. Uh, we're going to see. Hello? Hello? Amigo? Can you hear me? Aircraft information Fox was not quite nice to be in. KNH1014. Hello? Oh, I cannot pass. I am going to Oh, I don't even know. It's the taxi lights. All the transponder, I need to put it in standby. Uh taxi lights on, strap lights off.
Oh my god. <laughs> Strap lights off. And we need to start the APU. We need to turn off the flight director. Okay. And then parking. So parking brake is on. As you can see, it mysteriously disengaged for some reason. Taxi lights are off. Yep. Seatbelt sign off. No smoking sign stay on. Transponder is on standby. Fuel controls level. Goodbye engines. External power on. There we go. Beacon off. There we go. Hydraulic pump demands all off. Oops. Off. Fuel cross feeds. Off. Fuel pumps off. All right. Left and right utility. Off. Hydraulic pumps, engine. Hydraulic pump engines off or hydraulic pumps engine. Mm, I don't know. Uh, generator controls off. Bus dies off. Battery master. External power off. And we can say goodbye to this baby. Goodbye. Have a good night, baby. <laughs> then, oh yeah, we need to start, uh, turn off the APU. In this checklist, we always leave it off. And then the standby power needs to be off too. There we go. All right, so parking. Uh, we already did all of this, so IRS and your numbers. Emergency lights, not uh, standby power and battery switch. All right, I hope you enjoyed, and you know, uh, I hope you have a good night. And good day.